Hey YouTube, Mario M here. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today is Friday, uh, TGIF. It was 107 today and it's supposed to be 107 tomorrow. So I'm sitting here enjoying uh, my second beer of the evening right after dinner with my family. Uh, I'm sure Tecate and Applebee's are enjoying this. Uh, it looks like I'm advertising for Tecate and Applebee's. Actually, I'm not, but uh, uh, I think it looks refreshing, so I thought I'd share it with you. So I'm going to have a sip here of my beer, and then we'll get into my video. Ah. Ooh, that's nice and cold. Anyways, um... Um wanted to share with you a few coins that I picked up. I uh, uh, wanted to um, show you my uh, quarter um, gold eagles that I received from government. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of videos from other people that have already received theirs, like Lady Liberty Stacker, um, a couple other guys <clears throat> out there. They've all mentioned that they love government's deals that they've been giving us lately, but uh, they wouldn't buy any other th other stuff that uh, government has because it's too pricey. And I totally agree with that. However, um, I don't think they mentioned um, the customer service uh, and the great uh, packaging um, that government has been giving us as well. Um, I have been dealing with them for a while. Um, I've made about six, seven purchases from them, and most of them have been these great deals that uh, that they had. The first purchase that I made from them, and that's when I found out about government, is when I I got the five ounce. Uh, high-relief uh, kookaburra, which was an exclusive for them, and, you know, everybody had to go to government to get them. So that's when I started finding out what kind of service they had, what kind of packaging, and how they take care of their customers. Uh, their service is really next to none, uh, I've found out. Uh, I found this out uh, with all the times that I've dealt with them. Um, another thing that uh, I noticed... Um, here's the billing for uh, the two eagles and I don't think anybody has mentioned this on their videos but um, and I was looking at this the other day and I realized that on the back of this they have a return prepaid sticker just in case you weren't satisfied for whatever reason with with the product that they've sent you. So it's like you don't have to call them and say, hey, I didn't like it. And then they email you um, one of these prepaid things and uh, you send it back. They just send this to you um, along with your shipment. And if you don't like it, you return it right away. I think that is awesome. I think that is really awesome. And I, I don't know why I hadn't noticed it before. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, uh, another thing about these things is that they uh, give you this uh, certificate of authenticity. And it's pretty much a, a generic um, CO, COA because it doesn't uh, have the uh, coin on there or anything. It does have a 2016 coin, but that's about it. just certifies that it is a genuine coin, genuine gold coin. And I guess you can just put any coin in there. Actually, just make sure it's the correct year, and you can put any coin that you want, the Silver Eagle or, or the Sharks. Uh, you know, everybody's been getting these. But it's nice that they send them in these big plastic uh, flips, and also that uh, 
that now the the other surprising thing because they've been surprising us lately with a lot of things like you know the um, the slabbed uh, pandas that we got we didn't know they were going to be slabbed everybody was surprised uh, this is another surprise that they come in their capsules capsulized everybody's been really surprised about that and I like that because you know um, a lot of the other um, eBay stores just send you the coin and it's raw and it's you know you hate to to take it out and touch it and have to put it in a capsule yourself this way I'm sure that they use gloves when they put these in and <clears throat> you know there's no fingerprints on it or anything like that so uh, I think that's a great thing from government and you know I'm not pushing government I'm just stating you know my experience with them uh, like I said, I I feel that their customer service is next to none, and yes, I agree that their premiums are super high, uh, and that's probably because they have to pay for their sales staff. Uh, you know, I get calls from them all the time, telling them telling me that they have some great specials or or uh, they got some new uh, coins coming out that are uh, that are something that I should get. Uh, but you know I don't mind that uh, I get to know the people over there and uh, you know sometimes they do let me know about the good deals that are coming out so um, I wish I had gotten more silver eagles than I did I only picked up 10 I should have got at least a, a tube full of them when they were down at eight uh, at 16 8 85 or 16 95 I'm sorry anyways they're my uh, two quarter ounce gold eagles. Come on. And um, both of them are two sixteens, and they look in great shape. So, enough about government. <clears throat> um, my last video, I I uh, had some coins that I had picked up in San Diego, and I I had this one out, and I totally forgot to show it to you guys. This is a uh, 2005 one ounce panda. It's still sealed, and when I saw it uh, in the glass casing there, uh, I said, "Wow, that is a nice coin," and it's still in its and it's a plastic sealed envelope here and uh, it is in such great shape I don't know if you can really see it but it's in such great shape I says I'm gonna take this one with me as well 2005 it's like brand new like just out of the mint beautiful beautiful coin 600,000 of these minted. So I thought that was a pretty good pickup. This here, I got very fortunate on. Um, if you guys have been looking for these or trying to pick one of these up, you know that they go anywhere from 61 to 75. This is a two ounce, uh, 2011, I believe. 2014, I'm sorry, Year of the Horse, Perth Mint, two ouncer. Anyways, um, I saw this on eBay and it said, uh, well, I, I don't think it, yeah, it did say that the capsule was scratched. <clears throat> Let me see if you guys can pick this up. It's right there. I think you can see there the scratches it looks pretty nasty and you know I myself when I see something like that I go wow this probably wasn't taken care of very well by the person that owned it and uh, they probably took it out of the capsule and everything and <clears throat> so you know I shy away from stuff like this but this was not uh, this was a company that was selling this thing and they did say that it was scratched 
and so I sent them an email and asked them what kind of condition the coin itself was and they responded saying that the coin was in absolutely excellent condition there was nothing wrong with the coin itself it was just the capsule so I bid on it and I picked this up for thirty nine dollars thirty nine bucks got very fortunate because these things go for sixty one to seventy five all day long all day long I know because I've been trying to get one trying to build the set from uh, half to five ounce uh, I have the five ounce two ounce one ounce and I just picked up the half ounce so I'm I'm done uh, I don't know if I want to pick up the 10 ounce because it's kind of pricey I might get lucky and find one and else get an LCS or something but I'll just hold on to see if I can find that another thing that came with that coin it and I think this is really nice company was coin treasure and they sent this along what is it? which is sort of a COA not really but um, it's 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 more like you know advertising I think I think it's a really nice idea it's a half a flip and it's sealed with the description of the uh, of the coin right there and then the, the name of the company coin treasure I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, I was at my local coin shop the other day. Just stopped by to see what they had. And they had this. This one was upside down like this when I saw it. And I saw the year 2013. I go, wow. I like 2013. And... Asked them what they wanted for it. Told me. 150 bucks. And I said, I'll take it. No questions asked. I'll take it. These things go for 180 to 195 all day long on eBay. All day long. One tenth. So I've gotten pretty lucky here in the last couple of weeks picking up some stuff on in my local coin shop and eBay and last but not least uh, I know this this video is getting pretty long much longer than I usually go but this here ring my wife had it she had uh, put it in her jewelry box and forgot all about it and today she came over and says hey do you think this is worth anything and I says well let me look at it and it's a 120th ounce panda rope ring that was given to her by her grandmother that's, that's passed away she's passed she passed away about uh, 15 years ago 12 15 years ago and it's a 1998 gold 120th ounce uh, uh, panda rope ring it's in really good shape. Doesn't show any wear and tear on the coin itself. And it's not soldered in, it's held in, which is nice. So we looked it up on eBay and uh, yeah, sure enough, these this is uh this is the the one twentieth ounce is worth probably about one thirty five, just by itself. But with the ring, uh, it's a fourteen carat ring, uh, is probably worth about two seventy five. So I told her, yeah, and she says, well, hold on to it for me, and I said, okay, sure enough, there it is. So that's a nice addition to our stack and, you know, our gold. So that's what I have for you today. I'm sorry this uh, video went up a little bit longer, but I really wanted to um, 
uh, talk a little bit more about GovMint because uh, I really, really think that they have uh, some great customer service, outstanding customer service. And once again, thank you for watching my video. Tecate and Applebee's. Hope you guys enjoy your evening and I hope you enjoy your weekend. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later. Adios.